good morning. Welcome to Holy Family Parish. A special welcome to all first-time parishioners and to all visitors. We are glad that you are here. Today is the sixth Sunday of Easter. Today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of our moms. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Jim Hickey. The Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Michael Hackett. Our gathering song can be found in the Green Book at number 458, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, number 458. Please stand and join in the singing.
So boys and girls and everybody doing everything out loud is marvelous, but there's a point in which we do it inside quietly. So maybe we could all close our eyes and let's ask God to bless our mothers, some of whom have gone to meet God. Let's pray for them just right now. Almighty God, these are days of joy. Jesus has risen from the dead. At this Mass, may we celebrate together, especially with our children and all those who take the role of mum among us. May we worship you with heartfelt devotion. May we always hold on to Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and who reigns with you in the Spirit. He is truly God forever and ever. Be seated, please, if you would, and to green that green book, which you open up in it toward the back to number 913, 913, 913. Thank you. God bless you, Keith, as you read. Thank you, Father. The first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessing the Lord be with you. Thank you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Last week, Jesus explained that he and the Father are one, so he's God. This week, he explains about the third person. Jesus said to his disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father and you are in me and I am in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love that person and reveal myself to him or her. Friends, the glorious gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Evangelica Dicta de Leontur Nostra Delicta. Holy Lord Jesus, may what happens be for the benefit of all of us that you speak and we understand better because the Spirit is moving in each heart here. To God be glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
I'm not going to talk directly about the gospel. I think you can pick that up. I want to talk about how the gospel works and how it works in my life, and it may help your life, okay? Liz doesn't know this, but when we were talking about it, the kids in First Communion class, they heard me do this either last yesterday or the, a week ago yesterday, and so did the parents, but I want to pull it out. I didn't know. Now, let me say it differently. I knew, but I didn't really relate to it. So Liz was trying to talk about how it's true that Jesus is really there when we go to Holy Communion. And she brought up the moment before communion when the priest holds up Jesus and says, Behold the Lamb of God, right? You with me so far? Then I realized that we're Roman Catholics, so we're the Western Rite. We're different than the Eastern Rite. There tends to be a more focus on the Eucharist as Christ's presence for you and me. So I found out, I just thought about it, four times in either the Eucharistic prayer or before communion, we present Jesus to everybody. You knew that. As I pointed out, you'll say, oh yeah, I understand that. But it's so significant because we're talking to little kids about First Communion. And the first time is, of course, and only Catholics do this, after the words of consecration and Christ comes down and is present, this is my body, this is my blood, the priest raises the host, right? And what happens? What happens? Something happens in church. Somebody help me out. Boy, oh boy, are you great. Thank you very much. But then to celebrate that, something noise happens. Yes? A bell rings. A bell rings. Right? You were going to say that too? Right. In fact, we have little bells and big bells, right? It's very ancient. It goes back maybe a thousand years. And so when the bell rings, it's saying, whoa, he's here. Somebody say amen. Amen. And then the second time is, at Mass, we give Jesus to the Father, and then Jesus himself comes to us in communion. So after the Eucharistic prayer is over, the priest says to the Father, through him and with him and in him, but he holds Jesus up in his hands, right? You've seen that? Through him, with him, in him, right? You're with me? And you say something. Just as you said something after the elevation at the consecration, you said something like, what do we sing? We usually sing, Christ says what? Died? There's a whole, I'm, I'm going blank, but you sing something. <laughs> I'm getting old, you know? But it's directed to him. The rest of the prayer is to the Father. And then, when I hold him up through him, with him, in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. And you say? Amen. What do you say? Amen. So every time we hold him up, you respond. And then as Liz taught me, then there's a special moment. And I hold up a small piece of the Eucharist over the chalice. And I use a kind of odd English word. Behold, it's actually a direct translation of the Latin, ecce. I think in Italian it's echo, right? You Italians here? All right. Behold, look, here he is, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb, and you speak again. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Now, all of that, and I'll shut up in a minute, it's public to everybody. But then, and this is important for every boy and girl here for First Communion, then it becomes very personal, even private. Stay with me. This is a great idea. When you come to communion, it's you alone. Somebody say amen. amen. It's for you alone. Amen? amen? It's a personal relationship between you and Jesus Christ himself. Somebody say amen. amen. That's why it's critical that you understand that he is God and that he comes down from heaven to you personally. Somebody say amen. amen. 
What a wonderful idea, huh? And all of that, that Jesus comes to save you, to be in your life, to make you his and you belong to him, all that happened through a very lovely person who was just a little bit older than our boys and girls, who was probably 14 or 15. And God the Father said to her, I want you to have my child Jesus, and I want you to bring him into the world. And she said to God, I'm your servant. If you want it, I'll do it. And she did. And that's why we honor her today. It's just a statue. It's probably the oldest statue in the church. It may go back to the 1870s, maybe. It's 1882 it was built, but they started saying mass here on Bigelow Street in the 1870s after the town was breaking off from Abington. And this is very typically a picture of Mary as the Immaculate Conception, and it's very lovely. And all our kids will come up and we'll place a crown on her head. Oh, Mary, we crown thee with flowers today, Queen of the Angels, Queen of the May. And on Mother's Day, one of my favorite saints is St. Bernadette. In the 1850s, she met Jesus' mother in a place called Lourdes in France. And in the middle of all this, as she met Jesus' mother, one day someone asked her, what is she like, the Queen of Heaven? And, Mir and Bernadette said, hang on tight, kids. She's more mother than queen. That's how I see her. She's our mother. Thanks for listening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say. Amen. So now we act it out, this crowning. Liz, would you lead us? everybody. Oh, Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Sure. I will. 
Any other child that wants to bring up a rose, come on up here now. Any boy or girl that wants to bring up a flower, come on up here now. Every one of you, come on up here now. Any boy or girl that wants to come up, come up now. Wonderful. Wonderful. All you kids. Up to 21. Come on. <laughs> That'll be you, Mary. <laughs> Wonderful, excellent. Oh, Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, Queen of the May. Oh, Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Anybody else? Come on up. Queen of the angels, Queen of the May. You're over 21. What's the story? Wonderful. Terrific. Everybody, come on. Oh, oh Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, queen of the May. Oh, Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, queen of the May. Let's hear it. Come on. It's crazy to be Catholic, isn't it? Come on up, let's stand, shall we, everybody? Liz, thank you. Barbara, thank you. Let's turn to the good God. Keith, lead us in prayer. Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, is the Lord of life. Send into our hearts your Holy Spirit, that we may joyfully acknowledge Jesus to the whole world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, bless all our mothers and those who have the role of mother, both living and those who have you, you have called home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear Father, as we celebrate Christ's resurrection, bless our First Communion children on this Mother's Day especially as they've crowned our blessed Mother Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear Father, please stop the war in Ukraine. Please encourage and protect its noble people through the intercession of our Mother, the Queen of the Holy Rosary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, Easter tells us that every human being is of immortal value in your eyes. Protect the unborn, the elderly, those facing terror, disease, or disaster. Protect our military wherever they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, please heal the sick, particularly those whose names are in our book of prayer intentions, and especially Teresa Heinrichsen, Helen Ambrose, Eric Wolf, baby David Ortiz, Sherry McDougall, Irene Dalala, Lee Weber, David Whitman, Stephen Beaton, T. Lai, Michael McGrath, Mark Davis, and Dennis DeGiusto. Lift their spirits, heal them, and give them peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, Christ is the salvation of all who die in him. Grant eternal rest to Patricia Berkeley, to Harold Dunn, to Diane Herdigen, to Aaron Moriarty, to Claire Garvey, for whom there will be a funeral mass on Tuesday at 9 a.m., Barbara Wood, for whom there will be a funeral mass on Friday at 9 a.m., Teresa Squires, for whom there will be a pro-burial mass 
on Saturday at 9 a.m. and Michael Hackett, for whom this Mass is being offered, and to all our faithful departed, as well as those in our military who have died serving this great nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's talk to our Blessed Mother, the various pictures that are mean to help our, our devotion. I like the picture in the icon. Shall we pray? Hail. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Yesterday was the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. So we have a big bunch of stuff about Mary at this time of the year. Hail Mary, Hail gentlewoman, me. is found at 481 in the Green Book.
Church of God, pray that our gifts be consecrated. Christ come down among us to bring us up to God, the Father, the Almighty. Father, may our prayers rise up to you together with these humble gifts, these sacrificial offerings, that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mystery of Jesus Christ and of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Lift up your hearts. Good. Then let us all give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, through Jesus. And to praise and bless and glorify your name as we think of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of your Holy Spirit, she conceived your only Son, Jesus Christ. She did that, still remaining a virgin, bringing forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus himself. Therefore, O God, filled with joy and gladness, with angels and with saints, we praise you as we sing. So as best you can, stay alert for those four moments, and everything depends on that moment of consecration. You are indeed holy, O Lord, our Father. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us, your children, the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed by one of his own apostles and entered willingly into his passion and his terrible suffering and death, he took bread and giving you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for. This is my body, which will be given up for you. O oh Lord, I join everybody and I bow down before you, my Lord, my God. Father, that's not all. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it for. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. History of faith. Would you use the word Alleluia? Try it. Alleluia. Therefore, Father, as we celebrate the memorial of his death. And then his victory, his resurrection, we offer you, Father, his gift, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be here in your presence to minister before you. To you we cry out. Hallelujah. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by Holy Spirit. Together we cry. Hallelujah. Remember, Father, your church spread throughout your world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, bless his health, and Sean, our bishop, and all your clergy and your religious. With them we cry. Hallelujah. Remember your servant, Michael Hackett, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who in holy baptism was united with your son, Jesus, in a death like his, may now be one with him in his victory, his resurrection, we cry. Remember as well our other brothers and sisters, especially our mothers who may have died. They fell asleep in the hope of the victory. They died in your mercy, we pray. Now welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on all of us, especially on mothers and all parents, that with the Blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the three little children of Fatima, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, all of us, may come at last to be together in heaven. And we shall see you at last. And we'll praise you and thank you through Jesus, your son. With him we cry out together. The second time, right? Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of your Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise you. Glory to you. Take us up. Make me your God. As much as I can be. At the Savior's command, and formed by that divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming again of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus, you said, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Lord, don't look at our sins. Look at the faith in the heart of each of your Christians. And graciously grant to us, your church, peace and unity among ourselves and the gift of obeying your holy will because you are the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The lovely peace of Christ be with you. Thank you. Let's share the sign of peace, shall we? Peace, girl. Thank you. Peace, kid. Thank you. Peace, old man. Thank you. Peace, kid. Thank you. healing remedy. You are the Lord, the King of Kings. Take me over, Christ. So that personal encounter, the boys and girls have learned it all. You come up to the Lord with reverence, focused. We bow because he's God. And then the body of Christ and the Bible word for yes, amen. And then you make your hand a throne for the King of Kings. And you do as he says in the scripture, you take and eat. But then most importantly, you take time to be with him. And should someone, I need to say this, want to kneel or receive on the tongue, you're very welcome. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Sanguinis Christi, custodia me, guard me into life everlasting. Communion, put up your hand in the bench. There were people on Go down the to him to jail. Anybody else? Okay, at the end of communion.
in the Spirit Songbook at number 189. 189 in the Spirit Songbook, One Sacrifice of Christ. Same book, 339. to 
Almighty Father, you are the ever-living God. You have brought us into the gift of eternal life by the resurrection of Jesus. We ask you, since he has just given us himself, this marvelous sacrament, that the strength of this saving food, which is Jesus, may carry us through this day and every day and forever and ever, somebody say amen. amen. So I need to return to the nasty Jim Hickey that you all love. <laughs> We're behind on the grand annual, and my anxiety level is beginning to increase. At present, we've received $85,000. At this point, last year, we, went up, we had received $96,000. There are roughly seven weeks left between now and the end of June, the end of the fiscal year. So we actually need $10,000 every week to meet the 160 that we hope to get. If you've given already, thanks a lot. If there's a chance that you could give again, thank you a lot more. All right. If you haven't given, now's the time to hear me. I need you to cooperate and to do this. I was criticized, it's rare, because I'm such a wonderful character. But at any rate, quite a while back, uh, someone complained, you know, let's just talk about money. And I said, Rockland is very much Rockland. You can tell them there's a holy day coming up. If it's Thursday, they'll never come because they forget. If you tell them you need money, they say, oh, yeah. But if you tell them three or four more times, they say, oh, yeah, hey, Mabel, did we do that yet? It's real, isn't it? I need you to contribute. It's the way we've been stable, and we are stable. And just to say it, my mother had a name, a word, a noun for this. It's called, it is, Chregnul. The opposite is Flahul. In Irish, Chregnul is thrifty. You take care of your dimes and dollars. Flahul is you waste your money, you waste your life. So I ask you to be generous, if you can, in the next seven weeks, let's put it all in God's hands. That is, you know, 16% of our income, so we do need it. Thanks for listening. I'll nag you again next week, okay? <laughs> our best wishes and our prayers to every person in this room who holds the, the title of mother. Let's hear it for them, shall we? This Thursday is Ascension Thursday. It's 40 days since Easter. It's a holy day of obligation. I like it that Sean O'Malley, unlike most bishops in America, has it on the day of Thursday. Most of them shift. I just found out from Valdea that the Brazilians shifted to the Sunday. So it is this Thursday. The evening mass is at four here. And the morning mass the next day, Ascension Thursday, is at nine and then in the evening at seven. And you're, you're cursed with me at all three masses. Okay. There's a bottle and can drive by the Rotary Club to support Rocklands High School National Honor Society. It's next Saturday in our parking lot from 9 until 1. Check the bulletin. Only clean containers can be accepted. My Brother's Keeper, which is a marvelous program, by the way. They do some wonderful things for people who are in need. They sponsor a family walk on June 10th. Check the bulletin. And there's a thought of a rosary group at South Shore Nursing Home on a Wednesday. If you're interested, check the bulletin. Let's stand. The Lord be with you. Yes, Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what? Well, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to do this myself. I almost forgot to go to communion today. Did you notice? Holy mackerel. Let's sing something. Our closing song is found at 703 in the green book. Let there be peace on earth. Oh, 703. Eternal <laughs> 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 